Alright guys, uh, just wanted to give a video update now that I've switched over to Linux. Uh, it's been a couple of days. Uh, as you can see the setup hardware wise is still the exact same. Um, I'm running headless. Uh, nothing will show up there. Uh, so I don't use a GUI. Uh, I do everything through SSH. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see I've got a fan over here blowing lots of air right onto my 5850s. Help keep them cool. To still have some temperature problems with four 5850s packed up against each other. But uh, the one thing I wanted to show you guys was the numbers and temperatures I'm getting. Um, I used ATI config, AT, I'm sorry, uh, ATI flash uh, in DOS with a DOS boot thumb drive to change the clocks on the 5850. You see, I've got 875 core and 300 memory. Because memory being downclocked is important. It helps keep your cards cool. And 875 is a safe, stable core clock, but you could probably go to 900. I'm going to do that next. I just haven't yet. Um, current temperatures, as you can see, you got 76, 69, 69, 48. This is under full load, and they've been under full load for a little while. That top card's extra hot. I'm not totally sure why. Um, but I want to get to the bottom of that at some point. Um, also, I can show you. Uh, I'll just I'll just pick one of the cards because they all do the same mega hashes. Just to show you, um, operating at about 345 at 875 core and 300 RAM. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I'm using Diablo Miner. Um, I've got the uh, 2.1 SDK, Stream SDK, running on Ubuntu. And um, I've got a link in the description to the guide for setting up headless uh, Linux install on Ubuntu. The guide tells you to do SDK 2.4 and SDK 2.1 is better for the 5850s, that's why I chose that. So I just, at that part of the instructions, I just flop, swap that out for uh, SDK 2.1. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the vid, and uh, like I said, the link's in the description. Let me know if you have any questions.